Signed bit notation. Um, so, for signed bit notation, you um, look for the highest um, number, so that be the 128. So, if you have 28 here. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry, right up beneath. If this first number over here is a zero, it, it means that the entire number will be positive, which in this case is um, what's happening. And if the number would be a one, the entire number would be a negative number. So now that we know it's a positive number, we just add 64 plus 32 plus 8 plus 4, which is um, 108 positive. In this case, th because there is a 1 at the beginning, this means that the number is negative. You ignore this number as it only means the number is negative. So, you have 1 to 8, 64, 32, 16. So in this case, because it's negative, you multiply the entire equation by a negative. So then you add 64, 4, and 2. This gives you 70. So and because it's negative, you get negative 70. Um, so this is the two's complement. No. Oh, it's still signed bit. So um, as the first number, again, is negative, um, we just write negative, and he here we still have the 64, 32, 16, 8, Four, two, and one. But as there is nothing to add, this number will be negative zero. Uh, because there are no numbers filled in and the first number is zero, it, this means that the number is positive. This demonstrates the issue with uh, sign bit, as it has a representation for negative zero and positive zero. So this would give you positive zero. This waste space on the computer's hard drive for an unneeded representation.